Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Friend Shop Pierce, and welcome to my channel. It is Monday. Happy Monday, 5 6 of 2024. If I'm not mistaken, today is the anniversary of the coronation, right? The day of the coronation. One year. King Charles has been the coronation. Wow. Yeah. I thought about it earlier. Had a few errands to run around with Junior and got some things accomplished. And now I'm back home and boom, five, six appears. I tell you what else is appearing. Political. Biden donors include funding, right? Funding for Joe and also the anti-Israeli protests. People, you know, I did a video similar to this last week. I asked about money that was coming, just dropping out of the sky. Then you got the kids in the tents and maybe just, maybe just, maybe just, maybe the kids are being socially engineered because they are a future to live in the tents. You feel me? Over the last maybe what, six to eight months, we got Chicago attempting to put migrants in the tents. And then we uh, have them in tents, if I'm not mistaken, tent cities in New York, not too many, but hey, it's there. Then Governor DeSantis less than what, three weeks ago, it says clean up Florida. Let's get all the homeless and get them out, put them in a tent and an eyebrow raise. Well, I know I've been doing this before. Maybe some of y'all getting tired. I get it. I get it. I get it. But we got to attack this thing. We got to see it for what it is. It's a transformation, baby. So now I'll let you listen to this. And I want you to think about it. I want you to think about it. Would this go on in, let's say, China? Would somebody be able to give and donate and change the order? Because you see, that is what's taking place. It's changing the order. But let's listen to this list. I digress and let's get back with this thought. Okay, check it out. Calling him Genocide Joe. But some of the groups behind the demonstrations received financial backing from philanthropists pushing hard for his re-election. The donors include some of the biggest names in Democratic circles, Gates, Soros, Rockefeller, and Pritzker, according to a Politico analysis. The Gates Foundation says that their donations to these groups are not active. They have stopped, but not... George Soros, you see in December, 300,000, November, 350,000, September, 250,000, Susan Pritzker, October, 3,300, Nicholas Pritzker, November, 3,300, David Rockefeller in September, 10,000. That would be donations to uh, the Biden, that is a list of Biden campaign donors uh, who are funding some of these groups that are behind the anti-Israel college protests. And that is that some Democrats in Congress uh, say that they are eager to vote in favor of a House bill that adopts the Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's definition of... Okay, so let's stop there. You know what? I have a thought here. Just a thought. Let me see if I can put this in real time. Donors issued money for protests. Let's see if we can read something like that. This happened an hour, an hour ago. Biden's biggest donors... Biden's biggest donors also funding big political ch challenge for him, college protests, right? And this is what? This is who? Uh, Washington, pro-Palestinian demonstrators rocking college campuses have made it clear they aren't relenting anytime soon. Activists say they plan to carry on well past graduation into summer. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're going to have a long, hot summer. Where are these kids getting this money? Pearson, don't act stupid. They just told you. They're getting funded by these donors. Okay. The unrest on campus has pushed some schools, including Columbia University and the University of Southern California, to cancel campus wide graduation ceremonies. Are you serious? A once in a lifetime event, you do this, you're gonna regret it. The rapid escalation of these protests in recent weeks shocked many. However, an analysis by the Wall Street Journal found many of these college students 
spent the past months coordinating with and being coached. Let me get my point out. Thank you for sending this to me. Look at this. Many of these, many of these college students spent the past months coordinating with and being coached, being coached, being coached by well-established left-wing activist groups. Can I get a specific name up in here? Stop giving me, I don't want to hear about no bird wing. Give me the names. According to the report, groups like the National Students for Justice in Palestine. Okay, okay, we got the name, we got the name. Where is Soros? The longer these protests continue, the more they threaten the president politically. Last week, Senator Bernie Sanders warned this could be Biden's Vietnam, a reference to Lyndon B. Johnson deciding not to run for re-election in 1968 amid anti-war protests. Wow, wouldn't that be something? So this could be Biden's Vietnam. I heard about that from Sanders of the day. I can see how the powers can use that as an excuse. Instead of saying he's too old, they just say, look, this thing didn't run him up, reminiscent Vietnam. You shouldn't run. Get uh, maybe Carmella to run. Or, you know, who else can we got out there? Oh, Obama. Obama's wife. I mean, the, 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 the convention coming up in about, what, four, four months? Yeah, if we escalate this thing. What a strategy. If we escalate this thing. Can you spell escalate? Or should you say plan? Plan. Social engineering and planning. Look at that here. Political finding some of the deep pockets who financially back these activist organizations are some of Biden's biggest donors. For example, Democratic mega donors, George Soros and Rockefeller, blah, blah, blah. We got them already. But look here. I'm glad I just clicked on this thing. I'm really, I, what a strategy. Get old Joe out, cause he failed. He could ease on down the road, tip his hat, and hand the baton to somebody else and let them finish off America. Allegedly, if Trump don't get up in there. What a con game. What a what a sinister plan. They plan look, even a player getting played. So they put Joe up in there. And like the guy made a joke last week at the uh, at the writers at the journalist convention, he said, I'm waiting on uh, to find out where Obama is, right? Allegedly Obama running Joe Biden. So Mr. Puppet himself can get on up out of the way, bring bring some fresh, some fresh blood up in there. And Joe just wipe his hands at this thing as our country takes another social and economic hit. Yes, an economic hit. Because as it's being defunded, as it's being funded, our schools and neighborhoods are taking an economic hit. Think about it. Soros and Princeton, all them, they're going to pay for that? I think somebody should get a lawyer behind it. What you think? I, you funding it. Would this go on in China? There's a nation I can't say, but y'all know some guy, some guy overseas. Start with a U. He wouldn't take this foolishness. Or would he? From my betting man, I said, no, nah, he got more control than that. He, he, he ain't going to. I might not like their political persuasion, but I know one thing. Pop overseas ain't taking no mess. But the pop over here, he got one foot in the grave. What you think? But getting back to this thing here. What we got? Where am I at? Look at this here, all this money they're spreading around. This is a plan, baby. We talking about the overthrow of America. Well, we just implode. Y'all couldn't do nothing beneficial with the money like help the homeless, clothe the naked, Feed the hungry, 
pay somebody's rent. And let's keep it real, y'all. If somebody's funding you, ain't nothing free. I'm going to say it again. If somebody's funding you, ain't nothing free. If they're being coached and allegedly, quote unquote, programmed, don't you think there's an agenda with certain things that need to be done at a certain period of time, at a certain place? If you're giving somebody money, don't you want your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven? They're just a tool. The college students are just a tool. Right? People, I, I had to do this video. I had to do it. Because we got, we got to understand how this thing is being orchestrated. And with all this intel, I want to know how come our agencies haven't put a stop to it, to be honest with you. That's, that's what I want to know. Because the way I look at it, again, money is leverage. And if anything is... Um, what does is, what is, um, Trump always say? Election interference? Well, this, this, don't this, don't this qualify as some type of election interference? Come on, baby. Come on, man. Where's Fox News with this analysis that I'm bringing out when you need them? Where's CBS and NBC? Well, come on now. Y'all got to join the party. I can't be by myself on these thoughts here. We're talking leverage over the so-called greatest country the Western world has ever seen. People. Woo. Seemed like the, the deeper I drilled down this rabbit hole, the more it stank. I said the deeper I go down this rabbit hole, the more it stank. Not stink, stank. Put stank in the comment section. I just can't tolerate it. My stomach can't take it. And I'm watching the evaporation. And they're using these kids. And the kids need to have some questions. Don't let nobody pay you. Somebody put in the comment section, well, if you was behind on your rent, if you was behind on uh, your tuition, and somebody came with you a couple of thousand dollars, wouldn't you do this? At the cost of my, why I lay my head, my nation, I would say no. I'd be trying to turn you in. I think I'm gonna leave it right there. Where we going, baby? Where we going with this country? Where we going with this country? We see what they're doing, and this thing is supposed to go beyond June into the summer you mean to tell me they got that kind of money evidently they do right I ain't that naive they're gonna pay these kids to rock the house since they've already rocked the college now they're gonna rock the house are they gonna be at the Democratic National Convention right here in Chicago they're going to be at the debates. Where else are they going to be at? Costing cities hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars that they cannot afford. At some point, it's got to stop. At some point, some sociological, some professor, some psychiatrist, somebody think tank got to get together and say, wait a minute. We the people have got to use another strategy because this, the thing that we're embarking upon with the climate that we have, the economic situation that we have, this could unplug everything simultaneously. And we might not never come back from this. So I would think the faculty and the deans, the professors, the intellects of the world I think we need to have a think tank. And they need to listen to us. What you think? 
That's what I think. I'm French Shot Pierce. If you like the work, please subscribe, hit the bell. Tell your friends about it. French Shot Blue. That's what time it is. We see what time it is, Onarian. The love of money and the misuses of it. It's beyond the root of evil. It's stank. I'm done.